welcome to Woodland Double Decker Bus. We're going to have some fun uh, making a double decker bus that's filled with little creatures on their busy, busy day. Taking off somewhere, going on a field trip, having fun. We're going to make all different kinds of creatures and faces, and I'm going to show you some techniques in shading with colored pencils. Let's make art. You'll need two pieces of paper. This is the paper we're going to be drawing on, and this is the second one we're actually going to use as a template. I'm using cardstock paper, but you're welcome to use any kind of paper that you have around the house. First, I'm going to fold the second piece of paper in half. And cut. You're only going to need one of these to make our bust today. Next, fold the short end of your paper up about an inch. It does not have to be exact. And you're going to cut again. Carefully place this in the center of your paper. Get out your pencil and lightly draw around your rectangle. This is just going to give us a very simple way to start this bus. Next we're going to round the corners because the bus is not absolutely square like this. We're just going to draw a curved line around each one of the corners. And if you like, you can erase. Okay, let's get started. If you need a ruler, you can. I'm going to draw my lines um, straight with my hand, so it's not going to be too hard. First, we're going to make a line across the middle from one side to the other. Like I said, if you'd rather have a ruler, you can. I don't mind a little bit of curve because it makes it much more charming. We're going to add another line on top of that. And there we have the top half of our bus and the bottom half of our bus. Let's draw the roof. Another line up here close to the top. And we're going to draw the wheels and the door. Now you can use anything that you wish. Uh, bottle caps. I have a little jar lid that I'm going to be using right here. So. I'm just going to be making the tires by getting a round object. It should be slightly above the line. I like that zigzag. What a great sound. All right. And there we have the wheels. Any time that you feel that I'm getting too far ahead of you, just pause the video. Let's erase these lines in the center. Draw the hubcaps, like so. Now it's time to make the windows and the driver door. On the back half of your wheel right here, we're just going to draw two lines like we did here. One, two. There is a fender that goes over the wheel like this. And we need to make a window so our driver can see out. Of course, they need a light in the front. We're seeing it from the side, so we're only going to see one light. Here's a little spot for our driver. And now let's make some windows. We're going to take this line and we're going to continue it all the way to the back. And we're going to do the same up here. Let's do a line that's in between the roof and the bottom here. You don't have to make two lines this time. How many windows do you think we should have? Hmm, I want to make sure that I have room for all my animals that are riding in the bus. 
So I'm going to make it at least two fingers. My fingers are bigger than yours, so you might have to use three. But you want to make windows here and here. I don't think we have room for one more, so three is probably just fine. You can take the spacing from the bottom windows. You're drawing from the roof line to the center line and stopping right there. Continuing this line right here. This makes it easy because you've already done this part, haven't you? And let's do it right up here from the wheel one. Oh, look at all the windows that we have to fill up. That's so fun. All right, now comes the fun part. We get to add all of the fun little animals. So you can decide what you want. Uh, it can be a bus full of mice, or it can be a bus full of bunnies or kitty cats. It can even be people if that's what you want. The wonderful thing about it is that every single one can be different. So even if you all have mice, they could all be wearing something different. They can be little mice, baby mice, mommy mice, daddy mice, all kinds. So uh, I'm going to draw different animals so that you can kind of get a good idea as to what you'd like to do, but you're welcome to do all of them the same if you wish. We're going to have a mouse driver because this is a tiny bus. So I'm just going to be drawing a hook or upside down J in the front. And I'm going to add a nose by adding a V out like this and a circle right there. And here is the rest of our mouse's body. And of course he needs some ears. Oops, he's got to have a hat. So I'm going to draw his hat right there. He needs a conductor hat, doesn't he? I'm going to be doing all this over again in Sharpie before I color. So this allows me to kind of do what I want and experiment and I can take anything off I don't like. Here is his arm and here is his hand and here's the steering wheel right there. Oh, he's a very good bus driver. This is where the people can come in. So now you get to fill your bus up with fascinating creatures. So I'm not sure what you're going to do, but I think I'm going to have all tiny woodland creatures. So I think there would be a bunny. I'm going to do it the same way I did the mouse. Only the nose is going to be a little shorter and rounder. And some whiskers. Here's our bunny. What do you want your bunny to look like? Do you want your bunny to be going shopping? Um, maybe this bunny is a girl and she has on a dress. And she's singing hi to her friends. And there's her paw. She's very happy to be traveling today. Maybe she's even got a bow in her hair. Maybe a skunk. With a white stripe down the back. A skunk with glasses. necktie. Maybe there's a raccoon.
be a ladybug. Maybe a worm. Going to a baseball game. Maybe a deer. In a hat. flower necklace. Maybe a mommy mouse and a baby mouse. You can have a football mouse. You can have a soccer mouse. You can have whatever kinds of animal you wish. Now it's time to outline with black Sharpie. If you have pencil lines showing, make sure that you erase them. Now's a good time. If you're using Sharpie, you can erase right over the Sharpie lines and all of your pencil lines will disappear. If you like, you can add little things along the sides. Maybe there is a little bit of grass on the road. These are such small animals that maybe there's a big flower here. You can make any kind of flower that you want. Maybe it's a bright sunny day. Maybe there's somebody watching along the road over here.
Now you have a beautiful coloring page and it's time to add color to your bus. I'm gonna use colored pencils. Now these are watercolor pencils. I love these because they work not only as regular colored pencils, but you can also add water to them. I'm not gonna be adding water today, but I like having these because you can do so many things with them. My bus is going to be red like the double-decker buses in London. I'm going to show you how to create some shading with it, but first, it's time to color. As you can see, I already colored the top of the bus. It's a good idea to color in the same direction because then it makes it look like all one piece. When you color in different directions on something that's smooth, it gives it a different texture that's not quite right for what it is. If you color too lightly like this, and it's in all different directions. Can you see how it doesn't quite look like a bus anymore? You can color lightly, and that's fine. But if you are gonna color lightly, just make sure you go over it several times so that it becomes smooth looking. You want the bus to look shiny, not scratchy. Let's do this fender here just a little bit lighter so we can do some shading. One of the ways to shade is to simply draw darker, like this. Another way to shade is to think about what's next to this color on the color wheel. When you're thinking of shading, think about the color wheel. The bus that we made is red. The two colors next to it are orange and violet. Orange is lighter than red, so that wouldn't make a good darker color. But purple is darker than red. Let's try purple as our shading. Blending it in very gently and slowly at first, and then building color. Building color means to layer it on top of each other so that you have a nice dark shadow. There we have it. Let's try it on the fender too. Starting out lightly, coloring in the same direction that you've already colored. A little darker toward the bottom where you want it. And you have a lovely shadow. You can even bring it up into the red just a little bit, making it lighter like that. Good shading, huh? So if you're shading something, the part that's away from the sun is going to be the darkest. If the sun is at the top of the paper, the darkness is going to be below. So let's make some shading right down here with our purple. A little bit up to the back. Set some shading on the bottom of this panel up here. Just keep going over and over, layering and layering it until it is the shade that you want. The front of the bus might be shadier than the back because the sun is at the back. So I'm gonna bring the shadow up just a little bit right here and over there. Just a little bit of shading on the bottom of this. I don't want too much because the roof is at the very top and getting the most sun. Now the lighter shade is orange. You don't have to add orange, but if you wanted it to look a little lighter toward the top, you could add just a little layer of orange at the top. And it'll just give it a little bit of a lift to make it look like it is shaded. You can see that I made a mistake right here. So I'm gonna make my mistake great. I'm gonna turn that into a light like this one here, only it's a red light. So I'm just gonna add a little circle around it like this. And there we have a light. 
make your mistake great. All right, the rest of this is completely up to you. How you want to color these, I'm going to be coloring mine right now and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all finished. Okay, so our double decker bus is all colored and you can see that I use different kinds of shading. In some cases, like this one here, I just darkened the pencil here without using any other colors just to show shading right here and under the nose and right here. If the animal was white, like these two right here, I wanted to show you that with white you can use whatever color you wish, just leave lots of white. Um, this one is shaded in gray and this one is shaded in peach. So you can kind of do whatever you wish on something that's white. If you are doing shading in neutral colors like gray and brown, you can also choose which color you'd like to have in there. The brown one right here, uh, I used the brown for the shading and the orange for the lighter parts of it. I think I'm all done here. I just wanted to show you one last thing. If you don't have this small Sharpie to outline with, you can use a black pencil, that's fine, but when you go to erase, you might get some smudging, so just be careful when you erase. I wanted to add one more thing, and I think you'll enjoy this very much. I thought it would be fun to add a spider web on the wheels. So let's add some lines here, and you can add as many as you want to. I'm just going to add three, like that. You can add more. And then we're simply going to follow it around like a spiral. We're going to kind of edge it on every line here. And let's do the same over here. I'm going to go in the opposite direction just to make it more fun. And this kind of gives it a woodland effect because there's lights of spiders in the woods. If you'd like to add a shadow on the bottom, you can use your black and just lightly color underneath your bus so that it looks like it is moving along just a little bit here there added that and if you would like to you can add a little tailpipe right here with some smoke I like to put my pencil on its side and roll it around like this it makes awfully good smoke I really enjoyed making this double-decker bus. I hope you did. See you next time.